A few days ago, I got the pleasure of hanging out with Brian Mark at his villa here in Thailand for an entire day. Brian Mark is one of the most impressive men I've ever met. In terms of work ethic and his mindsets and how he navigates his life, I got to learn a lot from this guy. And this is no small fish. This is a guy who's pulling in over $7 million a year in sales, which is nuts, man. So I thought, why should I gatekeep this information, okay? I got to hang out with this awesome guy who's making a ton of money, has an awesome life, has a great family as well, got an incredible head on his shoulders. I'm going to forward some of the things that I learned from him to you boys now, okay? The first thing I learned, which I found really interesting, is that Brian hypnotizes himself for success. This casually came up in conversation while we were sat in the pool together. He sort of mentioned it in passing, but then I actually circled back to it because I was like, hang on a fucking minute. You hypnotize yourself for success. What the fuck is that? me and he explained it to me and it makes so much sense to me now that I've actually began using this method myself. He writes out a list of goals that he hasn't achieved just yet literally but he writes out essentially a gratitude letter thanking himself for achieving the goal. So for example I'm so grateful that I have 50,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel Harbinator and I'm so grateful that I make $50,000 a month in sales. He writes all this out in a letter and then he records a video of himself reading the letter out enthusiastically and literally like clockwork every single morning the very first thing he does is he puts his earphones in and he listens to that video of him reading that gratitude letter because he says in the morning your mind is most susceptible to new information he's genuinely brainwashing himself into the results that he wants and I found this very interesting because we all know that we are essentially a summary of our thoughts so if you convince yourself that you are are a guy operating at such levels, your actions are actually going to align with someone who has those results, which means that it actually becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. And this works incredibly well for Brian because he actually lost his Instagram account. And that was where he was getting all of his money from. His entire sales funnel was reliant on his Instagram account and he had to make a brand new one. And using this hypnosis formula, he's built a brand new Instagram from scratch up to 150,000 followers over the span of two years, which is really, really fucking impressive. Along the way, updating his gratitude letter and the video he recorded as he goes, as he hits these checkpoints. So I just found out very very, very interesting. I've not heard someone doing something like that before, but it makes so much sense to me. You hypnotize yourself into being someone that you're not just yet, but then your actions align with who that person is, so it actually becomes a reality. That's fucking incredible. Another thing I asked Brian about specifically is how he sets goals, because this is a guy who is like almost autistically obsessive over his goals. Like he wakes up and he thinks about his goals. What's the next thing I have to do? And goal setting something that I specifically have been looking into a lot more and how I should set my goal so that it works for me because we're all a bit different right like some people might respond to having a goal for the end of the year for me that's not like tangible and reachable enough for me to give enough of a shit about so how Brian sets his goals is really awesome actually and it simplifies everything and I quite like it and that's something else that I'm going to implement this Sunday he does have end of year goals but in my opinion the more important goals that he sets are his weekly goals and he does the goals using four pillars of development, okay? Health, wealth, relationships, and self. He sets a goal for each of these pillars, and then he sets it as his home screen on his phone. And then every Sunday, he assesses his goals for the week, and he determines if he achieved them, good job. Or if he didn't achieve them, why? And then he sets the next goals for the week. So his Sundays are a very introspective day, looking at KPIs, looking at the goals, how he did, all of this stuff. And to me, that makes so much sense, okay? Because you're planning your week ahead while also evaluating the week that has just passed. Another thing I learned from Brian is how he manages to stay so hungry even though he's making so much money. Guys, if most of us watching these videos were making seven million a year in sales, we would probably be feeling pretty chill, right? We'd be feeling pretty fucking chill with ourselves. Our life completed it, mate. But Brian continues to wake up every single day, hungry for more and more and more. And I know this because of how he talks about his goals. Like he genuinely fucking feels disdain when he doesn't hit a goal. And I'm like, bro, okay. <laughs> 
you set the goal for 10 million and you made 8 million. Like, bro, you, you made 8 fucking million. That, that's good, right? He's like, no, that's not good. That's fucking bad. And I'm like, wow, okay. How he stays hungry is simply just thinking about the repercussions of not continuing to grow. Having to explain to his daughter when she hits 18 that she wants to run her own business, but not having the money to invest in his own daughter's business to help her grow because he didn't go all in on himself now because he's comfortable. Or not being able to send thousands upon thousands of pounds back home to his family members who might be struggling. That's another repercussion. That's how Brian stays hungry. It's not like he's necessarily journaling about these things. It's not saying like, I have to work really hard otherwise my entire family will die or whatever, but it's lingering in the back of his mind. It's like whenever he feels himself being complacent, he can hear those voices and they're like, Brian, Brian, if you don't hit your goals this week, like your fucking family are gonna suffer for it the people around you are gonna suffer for it and that's what keeps him hungry for success and finally something that i really admired about my time with brian is the fact that i could see that he values his team so fucking much if he wins his wife wins, if he wins, his videographer wins, if he wins, his sales team wins. It is a team effort. A lot of people, they get into the position of power and then it's like uh, Frodo when he gets the ring in Lord of the Rings and he, he turns into a little fucking bastard, right? And he's like, no, fuck everyone else. I'm the G, I'm the fucking top Don. I can see how Brian navigates his relationships with his team, his family. It's a team effort. He was out in Thailand with his wife and his videographer on a holiday. That's lovely. Treating your family and your team to have such a beautiful experience like that. 10 out of 10 leadership skills, man. And the thing is, once you forget the importance of team, you're just absolutely destined to downfall and to just fucking crumble. And you see that with a lot of guys on YouTube and in business. So it's good to see Brian is treating his team, his family very well. I hope this video is helpful to you boys. Those are some learning lessons I got from a multi-millionaire that I got to hang out with. How incredible is that? What an awesome life. I can hang out with these high level guys and learn directly from them because of the skill of video editing. I chose one skill, I mastered it, and that's landed me the lifestyle which allows me to share such amazing experiences. And I now teach over 500 of my students how to do exactly that for themselves inside of my Academy of Excellence. And as you can see on the screen, we're getting excellent results for my students. It could be you next. Check the links in the description now, guys, and take care.